What's up, guys? This is Gino J with KP and Gino J Show. And I'm one half of the real estate do rules. Today's video is a good video for you guys. I really want to get down to the nuts and bolts of what it took to renovate this property. We get a lot of phone calls with people asking, how do you, you know, estimate your repair budgets? So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the exact line item down to the penny on what it took to renovate this house. So let's go. Let's. All right, guys, this is the property and it's, it's cold, it's raining, it's the middle of January. Um, but I do want to go over some of the numbers with you guys. So just looking at the house from the outside, I replaced the roof. Um, it was $3,200 labor material to replace this roof. On the outside, this door was, was, it used to be a door here. So what we did was we converted it back to a garage and I put two new garage doors on this house. Uh, each garage door um, totaled out to be about a um, thousand fifty a piece and that included labor material and the motor. Um, there was some 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 siding issues where we replaced um, you know some siding. I spent fifteen hundred dollars in labor on the siding and the material you know came out to right at about nine hundred dollars for the material. Um, there was also some some soffit work that was included in in that siding a lot of the siding that we replaced was actually on the chimney and then we had some issues with a couple places where uh the soffits were um the outside paint on this house came out to a grand total of and my sheets are sticking together and you know, i had all the numbers ready in my hand not a sheet sticking together so the outside paint was twenty five hundred dollars to paint this house and that was just labor and the material came out to about nine hundred bucks so i just kind of want to round you know round everything off uh there used to be a shed here um you got rid of that shed i'm waiting for the rain to stop so i can fix this fence on the back side of the house, the only thing we did was we got up all the leaves and we just put down grass seeds. Luckily, the AC was still working. We only serviced that AC unit. We're just gonna walk back around. Let's go inside. All right, now that we're on the inside of the house, I'll show you some of the before pictures so you have an idea of what it looked like before. And I'll start to break down some of the cost to you on what some of these items cost. And I'll also share a link to the exact spreadsheet and some before and after pictures to help you kind of like visual, visually see what things cost. So let me turn the camera around. So we had the home stage. Uh, a stage in the house always makes the property come to life and it just looks great when it's staged. You know, the fireplace, we painted the fireplace. That was a part of the paint. Um, we actually added these four recess lights just to give it more light and we added the ceiling fan. There was no place for a ceiling fan. So all of the electrical in this house uh, cost $1,200 labor. That including putting all of the, um, the fixtures in and that also included putting all new, you know, switches and outlets in. Now I paid for my own material with the switches, outlets, and all new fixtures. It came out to about 980 bucks. Now the carpet, we put carpet in the main area. We also put carpet on the stairs and we put carpet in the bedrooms. Now the carpet labor material for this entire house, um, the living room, the stairs, and three bedrooms came out to right under $2,000 for the carpet. We painted all of the doors. The inside paint was $2,500 for labor. 
and the material was right around $850 for all of the paint. We also changed all of the door handles. Uh, these handles you can get online for, um, these handles you can get at Home Depot. They're just basic cheap handles. Um, they run about 12 bucks a piece. We kept the windows. This house is not a um, high-end area, and it's really just kind of a starter home. So we did update a lot of stuff, but some stuff, it just wasn't in our budget. But the windows were in good enough shape where it didn't, we didn't have to change them. So we kept the windows and cleaned them up. In the bathrooms, we, of course, like I said before, we changed all the light fixtures. We changed all of the plumbing fixtures. We put new P-traps in. We actually just changed the vanity countertop and we painted the cabinet uh, and changed the knobs and the hinges on the cabinet. The flooring is actually, it looks like tile, but it's actually linoleum. And so we just went over top of the linoleum on top of the tile um, so, so that we save money with the demo cost. Now we did end up demoing the shower and we did a new shower just because we wanted to give it a, a nice clean look. And of course we changed um, the hinges and fixtures. So now we're gonna take a look at the guest bathroom. Before I show you the guest bathroom, let me show you these other rooms. It's just, it's just very basic. Like in these rooms, it was just carpet, paint, and new light fixture. Now, when we go to the secondary bathroom, the hall bathroom, pretty much mirrored the master. We went over top of the tile with a, with a linoleum floor. Um, and the flooring is the same flooring in the kitchen. So the kitchen and the bathrooms came out to right around $13.50, and that was for labor and material. And then we changed the tile in the bathroom. Both bathrooms cost $1,600 in labor. Both bathrooms were $800 a piece in labor for tile. And then the tile itself came out to around um, $1,300 with the tile and the grout. The toilets, they came out to about um, they were included in the, in the plumbing. All of the plumbing material um, was right around 900 bucks. And that included the plumbing, the bathroom fixtures, and also uh, the shower fixtures. And the, the labor for the plumbing came out to about 1500, 1500 bucks for the labor. So now we're gonna walk down stairs. You know, normally in, in, in these homes, because they are starter homes, and a lot of times, you know, the cabinets are wood cabinets, and they're actually, in most cases, pretty decent, like the vanities. I actually decided to change the kitchen cabinets because the kitchen was a little tight. If the kitchen was a little larger, then I would have probably elected to keep the cabinets and just painted them. But because I wanted to make the kitchen larger and make it feel bigger and and give it a new look, I did decide to, to change the cabinets. So now the kitchen cabinets, they came out to about $3,000 for, um, actually $2,800 for the kitchen cabinets and the crown. And then labor to install the kitchen was about $850. I did tile the backsplash. I did tile the backsplash. Um, we put in granite. This granite ran about 1700 bucks. We're still waiting on a microwave. And once the microwave comes, there's a, um, um, we're gonna encase it so it's all one piece. Like I mentioned before, this is just concrete under here. So we, you know, we just went with a, a linoleum on top and it's like a luxury uh, linoleum. And, look, and it, looks, it looks good, especially for you know, this neighborhood and this price point. It's simple. Um, we converted it and we just painted 
Just painted the garage. Of course, you see the, the new motor. Okay, guys, that concludes my tour of this house. I hope you liked it. You know, leave comments, um, leave, leave any feedback. And I'll leave a link below so you can see like some of the stuff that we purchase in this house and also the budget. You know, when you're renovating houses, I think the key is knowing the area that you're renovating in. You know, every house doesn't have, have to be like, you know, an HGTV house. You know, sometimes you just want to do some simple stuff because of the price point that you're working in. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you want to make a nice house, but you also, you know, want to make sure that you're profitable as well. And you can't fix every little thing. But you do want to make sure like the mechanicals, the plumbing, the electrical, all that stuff, the HVAC and the roof, all the major items are good. And then you can add in and fill in the blanks um, with your, you know, your cosmetic taste as you see feel fit. Remember to hit the like button below. And this is Gene OJ. Until next time, guys. Peace. I'm out.